Hey guys, for this how-to video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a blind AI or just an AI that can hear players. But I'm just going to be showing you how to make the blind and hear players part. You can make the AI in this video. It should just show up like somewhere over here because I made the AI in a separate video. So first we're going to start off making the AI hear players. So these are all the chips you'll need. Just pause the video and just get all of these chips. So once you have them all, you connect the update that hurts to the save chip. Then connect the player get volume to the greater or equal. Then connect the quotient on the divide to the B on the greater or equal. Then connect this top value of the divide to this distance right here on this get closest. Then connect the result to the if chip. And connect the then to the player variable. I'm going to name this player variable. I'm just going to name it player because I don't really know what else to call it. Then just clone this player variable up here. Connect the player variable to the is valid. And connect the is valid to the if chip. Connect the then to the if chip. Then connect this condition to this bool variable. So first, when this player variable is changed, it's going to be checking if it is valid. So if the variable even has a player in it, it's going to activate all of this. But if it doesn't, then it's not going to do anything. Connect this then to the run of the delay. And make the delay like 5 seconds or 10 seconds. Clone your player variable up here. Then connect the after delay to the player variable. Connect the run to the same bool variable. Then connect the output of this variable to the same bool variable. Now connect the else right here to the cancel and then on cancel run. Then configure your event receiver. And since I renamed my player variable, I'm just going to search it player since it's named player and then change so player change so that's this variable changed a couple really important things make sure this bool variable right here is synced make sure the play variable is synced and then come on here to the divide and make this value right here like 100 this is just a sensitivity on just like how loud the players could talk so you can make this like 150 if you want it more sensitive but if you want it less sensitive you make it lower we are also going to need an if local players room authority so just connect this to the if local players room authority and the i'm authority to the if chip i actually messed up on this if chip right here connect the else to the run and then the then to the cancel so what this basically will do is just it'll execute this for the room authority and then just check if it, this player variable is true. Then it'll check if this bool variable is true. If it is not true, it'll just run the delay once, change it to true. So when the delay is ran, then this bool variable is true. So if it is true, then the delay will be running. Then after the delay, it'll just reset this variable and then change this bool variable to false. But if this executes while this is still true, then that means a different player has talked. So the AI needs to go to a different player and reset this delay. So this should be true. Then it's going to cancel the delay and then run the delay. So it just resets the delay. So now we actually need to do something. So just clone your this player variable over to the AI over here. Then we're going to need some room right here, so I'm just going to move this stuff over. So we're just going to go right here after this if chip. So just clone the if chip to the side, and clone this is valid to the side. Now connect this else to the if chip, and then connect this is valid to the condition. Connect this is valid to this player variable, the player variable that you cloned. Then clone this AI path 2. Connect this else to this if chip, and then connect the then to the AI path 2. Connect the AI right here to this from our object where we always connect the AI at. Now we can't just connect this target to the player. We have to do the same thing what we did to this right here. We use this system right here. So just select these three chips and just clone them. I guess I'm just going to put them up here because I have no room right there. Also clone your get position. The target of the get position is this player variable and the position is vector three and then if you're using this reroute right here you just connect this to the reroute or just make this the value that you needed or the value that you have then connect the target to the vector three create now connect this AI path two to the run because we want the ai to run to the player then also come over here back to the system and connect this else right here to the walking mode thing right here to this ai set pathing speed so when this variable goes back to like nobody goes to no players then the AI will go back to walking so if I connect this up to here and spawn in one AI so now if I test the AI you saw it running to me yeah there we go I stopped talking and then after five seconds he doesn't hear me so now if you want any generator or something to make it so the AI could go to you could literally just get an interaction volume and then connect the player variable to the interaction volume on use and make this local player. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you with the AI hearing thing. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. I'll most likely respond to it. And also, I finally hit 10k subs on Rec Room. Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video.